Hi, I'm Scotty. I service, repair and restore vintage and antique mechanical clocks. Welcome to Scotty's Clock World. Right, that'll be better. The fine teeth on the wheels won't catch on my gloves now. So that's what the movement looks like. Right, we'll take those two wheels off. And there. We've got the spring contained in a, in a clip there right we'll take the balance wheel and the spring out now it's actually smaller again Quite a small, a really tiny little one. That'll do us. Now, first thing we'll have to do is get a we have to remove that pin there that holds the spring in place. That comes out first and pull it straight out. Be very careful that you don't bend the hairspring. Put that aside. Now, we'll loosen the wheel, wrong one. You wind this out so the wheel loosens the pivot it'll drop out there we go now the spring has to be very very carefully pulled out through that hole First one, and then out through this little regulator here. I'll actually straighten that out a tiny bit to make it easier. That will then come out there. Very, very carefully take the spring out as caught at the moment. it down a tiny little bit the inner loop is caught over the regulator arm take that last loop off 
and out it comes. Thank you. There it is. Have to be very, very careful of the hairspring before I put that back in. I'll show you how to put the curve back on that. It's a little bit straight. There's a very fine pivot there. There's also a very fine pivot there. So you have to be very, very careful with those. Right, that's the nervous bit gone. Right, let's take the rest of it to pieces and see what we've got. Now, tiny little spanner. Four and a half mil. This and those. One. Two. Take the one right off. Get another dish. Tighten the dish. Loosen this one off. Spin him up. And remove it. Two. Holding the movement together so it doesn't pop open. Three. And the fourth one. Now we'll very carefully move the top plate up a little bit at a time. Till we clear the winding spring. There, and that, and that little guy. Comes from there. Actually, I'll take the spring off first. There we go. Right, we'll take the spring off. We'll take each one of these wheels out. And that one. This arm, and that, that will probably stay there because it's got a wheel on the other side, a pinion. Okay, I'll pop those into the ultrasonic now and clean them. We'll bring them back when they're clean and we'll reassemble the movement. This is the rack hook right here. That pin, when you put the gathering pallet back on before you hammer it down to keep it firm, that pin has to fall.